Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to create AEM component using WCM use APIs. These are backend APIs used to create component. So these APIs are also deprecated and not used now. These APIs were replaced using Sling model, but these are still supported and you can find these APIs in currently written projects. So you must know how these APIs works. So as part of this tutorial, what we'll see, we'll see like we have field first name, last name and profession is my checkbox and I'll show you a multi field as well. Simple one field multi field and for the back end, we'll use WCM POJO use APIs and for the rendering, we'll use site lay. So I have a component which has dialog first name, last name, a checkbox called professor and a multi field with one field. So to display this data, we'll use WCM use POJO APIs. So to write these APIs, we'll write a class with extending. So we'll write class with extend WCM use POJO. So this is the class you must extend. This is the abstract class. And then you must override a method called activate. This is the same kind of method what you see in Sling model when you write a method using post construct annotation. So this method is executed when your model is initialized and when all the properties are initialized for that particular resource. So what I'm doing here, if you see here, so all the pro global objects available in this class, right? So let's say you want properties means the component properties. So using this method, you will say like get properties, get properties is available in this. So what I'm saying here, when this initialize, this method is execute. What I did here, I declare a variable and here I'd say get properties dot get whatever the name of my dialog field and what kind of property I want I want string type so I mentioned here itself now I'm saying the last name and I'm saying the professor this is the boolean field so I said default value is false here same way I'm saying books which is the multi field so I'm saying default value is a empty empty array string type of empty array then once this method is execute so I get all these values and stored in these variables now I wrote the this getter methods to return these values to my site lay right now you will see here get first name last name is professor and I'm returning using get books I'm returning this array in site lay, the same thing we have to do we have to use same data silly use attribute let's see how we write there so you will see here i use same data silly use dot author author is my variable and i'm calling this now exact path means the package with my class here so what i'm saying okay this is my use class now now this this variable contain the object of this now object of this class now so earlier i was using author dot first name but now there is a nothing first name if you see how you can get it like whatever your getter is remove this get and make the first one as a small letter which i have already explained this is the standard there's other ways as well but i'm making a standard here so you can use in this way right this i explain in detail in sling model related tutorial so concept here in sling model is same so let me copy this copy here and remove get and say first name right same way i can say last name right because my method is last name if you have any boolean let's say you are saying is variable is is whatever the name right so what I can do here is lay copy and make your P as a small and that's it. Now let me remove this. Okay. And how you can display your multi field. So this is a simple type multi field. You can just use a list tag here data silly list and you can iterate that. Let me write that. So how to display this either array or multi field what I mean here data SLY 
list dot item you can have any variable name here but i have already explained in detail in slightly related series how this site list works please go back and check that there are multiple tutorials available which explain these things in very detail now what i'm saying here okay list item author which is my object and say the books right why i'm saying books here if you go back and see here get books so as the thumb rule right remove get and make the first letter as a small case so what i'm saying here author dot books now this entire object is a array right and here i'm saying item list you must be aware why i added item list after item because this will give you count and other objects other variable please go back and check that list related tutorial you will understand why i added list after this item and i'm saying count so it will give you a count when these iterate and here i'm saying book is equal to item because this each item stored in this variable item and when i display here all the values whatever is there are available so if you see these are displayed if i edit anything here let me add one more book let's say she sharp and let's say i add something here and see the book has been added and name is she sharp you can also display your array values in one line using join but that is only in case of composite is equal to false in case of multi field i have already explained what is composite and all please go back and check multi field related tutorial in am developer series so let's say i want to display in one case when composite is equal to false so you, what you can do author books at the rate join with my comma so if i save here and say let me refresh this see this is our available books in one line right if i add it here and let me add one more let's say some test book and i save so it has added in both ways here in this line as well as here so that way if you are composite means you have composite is equal to false your multi field means you have only one one field here and this is the array in that case you can display using join as well this is one of the way if you have only one field in your multi field now two things you must understand when you are writing these apis first is all the objects are available all the global objects are available inside this so if i say get you will see all the objects properties components component context current design all the objects are available inside this file right that's the one thing second thing is if your project is created new right if you use these apis you may get compile time error there is a reason in case your project is new and you start writing or you try to write a component using these apis so in that case you have to add one dependency as of today later on this dependency can be changed but when i am writing this tutorial at that time this is the dependency okay let's go to the pom and this is the dependency if you see here i will add these detail in my github repo so this one you must add this dependency in your parent pom as well as you have to add in your core pom as well to work otherwise you may get a compile time error when you use these wsim use apis with latest arc type i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment thank you